Hey guys, what's going on? Daryl Addison at TorpedoPont.com. Daryl Addison at TorpedoPont.com. And these, uh, this plant, or these plants are my squash. And they look fantastic. Uh, as you can see, this they're flowering already. All right, and um, I've got to go down and I've got to uh, find out because I need to go in and uh, manually by hand pollinate these plants. And uh, because they have a lot of potential flowers. And uh, they're coming. These male plants are coming and they're opening up. So what I'm going to do is grab me a... Uh, the females are coming. I'm going to grab me one of the male plant parts. And I'm going to hand pollinate the female parts if I can find them. So let's do this together and see what we can do. The male and the female. So let's see. What plant? We've got so many males on this plant. You know what I mean? Look at that. So many males are... On this planet, I've got to find me one female flower. I mean, so many female flowers are on this planet. I've got to find me a male flower in which to, uh, to grab from so I can start the pollination process. And personally, I don't see any yet. So, I'm going to have to wait, hoping that uh, instead of manually, that it will take care of itself. Now, normally when you have fruit that come on this early, like we're looking at with this, uh, this squash, oh, that's so beautiful, isn't that beautiful? That you would uh, have flowers to do some, some pollination with. So let me take a look at this and find out if I could uh, get the right plants to start this uh, pollination process, because I don't know if there are enough fruiting flowers to really make that happen. And there are quite a bit, they're coming. They are certainly coming. Let me see what I can do here. Uh, they are certainly coming, man. They, they're coming. I'm just hoping I got enough to balance of male and female flowers to, to make it happen. Because I don't want those fruits on the vine because they're not pollinated to not do well. All right, I wanted to take time to show you the squash because um, well, because uh, it is doing fantastic. It's doing great. It's doing really great. And I'm so proud of what's, what's happening with the, with the flowers themselves. Okay, we'll talk more about this uh, squash plant as we start to probe a little bit deeper into uh, trying to develop and pollinate. Um, squash normally has natural pollinators. Uh, I have no idea how I want to open that bad boy up. Take that plant out of there. Let me see. And and make it happen myself. Ah, here we go. Let's go down into it. I'm gonna pull it out. There you go, right there. I don't know though if it's uh because it didn't open up naturally, I don't know if it will uh normally pollinate, but normally for pollination you would take the male and the female parts and rub them together. But I have to tell you, I don't know. And this is going to work, but I'm going to try because I'm desperate. I don't want my flowers going bad. And so I'm going to try my best to pollinate this as much as possible. Oh my God, my flowers fell to the ground. Pollinate that to the ground. So, all right, well, we're going to another one. Let's see if we can open this one up and steal pollinators from inside of that one. Oh no, that's the actual plant itself. All right, I'm going to back off. In my eagerness, I'm actually destroying my plants and I don't want that to happen. But normally you need to make the pollination to take place. There's a squash bee that does the pollination for you, but the plants are just opening up and I don't want to get in there to destroy it, but they look fantastic. This is my squash plants and you can get a lot of fruit for your squash, but they're very temperamental. And I was just giving you a, an overview of what to do uh, when you're trying to pollinate your plants. Darrell Addison, torpedopot.com.